Now, before reconning the automatic transmission, you must first remove it from the vehicle. Well done, Mike. Hi, I'm David Locke. And I'm Dylan Mogg. And today, we're going to show you servicing a transmission. On a 91 LE Ford 4 speed. Now, before you start to rip stuff apart, you must first check the condition of the oil that is being replaced. You must check the fluid colour, fluid odour, and if there's any contaminants like dirt or water. Every transmission has different needs and requirements from different oils. The use of incorrect oils could result in failure to various components in the transmission. This particular model requires the use of TQ95. Always be sure to flush your lines when you're doing your service as an old fluid can contaminate the new fluid. When servicing the transmission, you need to adjust the bands. Now to adjust the bands, you need to adjust this screw using a torque wrench. The front band you adjust to 10 Newton meters, then you mark the adjusting screw and turn it off three turns exactly. To adjust the rear band, it needs to be adjusted to 15 Newton meters using your torque wrench. Make a mark on it and back it off one turn only. With your locking nut, you secure your adjusting screw and tighten your locking nut to exactly 40 Newton meters. Transmissions come with a range of filters, either external, which is situated on the side of the transmission, or internal, which is usually located underneath the pan. On our transmission, you simply remove the pan to reveal an internal filter. Now, internal filters are generally held in by bolts or clips. On ours, you simply remove the clip and then remove the filter. Now, when putting new filters in, you must ensure they stay clean because any dirt particles that get into the transmission will damage components. When you're ready to install your torque converter, there's one very important thing you must make sure of. When you slide it onto the shaft, it must click in at least twice. If you do not do this, and you try to tighten up the transmission, it will good chance it will destroy your oil pump. Now you've finished servicing your transmission, you must test drive it, check for leaks, and then check the oil level. You must always refer to the owner's manual for specifications on oils and adjustments according to your gearbox's design. Now that you've finished servicing your transmission, you must always ensure that you put it back in the car! <laughs>